Well, hello YouTube and welcome back to Retired for Life. We're just doing a quick little bird's eye view of what's going on around us. So as you can see, there's not that much snow left. It's disappearing really fast. Let's go up and have a quick look at the uh, sawmill. Yeah, things are looking good there. It won't be long before we can get the sawmill back into action again. But for now, we've got a few jobs to do inside the shop. And we've got to get ready to uh, put up our temporary uh, 10 by 10 uh, storage tent for the 10 foot logs. So let's get this thing landed, get into the shop and check out the little bit of work that I've got left to do in there before we can actually uh, get to work out here. Give the snow a chance to melt a little farther. All right, let's land this thing. Alright folks, we have the shop in pretty good shape now, so I want to start looking at this uh, storage shed. Now I'm a little worried about it because the box is all taped shut kind of thing and not quite closed all the way. So I'm kind of concerned that uh, this is a return. Well, it certainly looks folded up very nicely. So this is a, a weather fast shelter. Now the reviews on it were quite good. They talk about it being pretty resistant to uh, UV and that type of thing. As you know, my other shelters that I'm using for storage are not any good for UV light. They just, it rots them very quickly which is why I've got a tarp over top of all three of them. So, this looks pretty good. I want to see how it's fastened to the ground. Yeah, so there's the spikes that go into the ground. We'll try that and see how it looks. All right, that's good. So it's still far too wet up there to uh, put this up. I'd just be mucking around in the mud and I don't really want to do that. So I'm going to give that another day yet. But one of the things I do need to do is I'm running out of stickers for uh, stacking my lumber. So I've got to cut some more. I'm going to uh, just set up the table saw here and run some old one inch and uh, inch and a half pieces that I've got through at uh, three quarter inch thickness for a bunch of stickers. And hopefully that will give me enough to get through. I'm gonna need another hundred or so of them anyway. Well, I, th I think what I'm gonna do just to get this thing out of the way is to uh, just take it up to the drying tent, open up the drying tent, push it in there on my cart that way, it's ready 
for when we're ready to put, put it up, which I'm hoping will be tomorrow. So let's get that done. Um, then I'm gonna break for lunch and we will get back out here, get the table saw out and cut up a bunch of our stickers. All right, it's time for lunch. shorts bits and pieces that I've got around the shop used up that should give us a pretty good supply at least get us started and we'll see how far we go from there well I hope you guys have been enjoying this video and if you have don't forget to give it a like and I'd really love to have you to subscribe to the channel and if you've got any thoughts questions suggestions don't forget to leave a comment and let me know. I'd love to hear from you. All right, let's get back to the work. All right, folks, the next job I would like to do is try to get this end out of my cant hook. I have beat on it like you wouldn't believe, and it has not budged at all. I don't know what's holding it in there. What we're going to try to do is drill a whole bunch of it out and then see if I can chip out the remainder. perfect fit. That's why it took so much to get it out. They must have really slammed that home to get it in there. to do now is mark where this is touching just by turning it here so you can see I'm touching here so I still need to work that area down a bit but I'm I'm also getting close to touching at the end here too so I've pretty much got the right angle but I'm still when I put this in, well, I'm about an inch and a half away from coming 
flush to the end. So I would like to get it in a little bit farther. You know, I think I'm going to call that good. Boy, that's close. Alright, I got a piece of soft wood here. Fine. Put the handle down on that. So, we are about a half inch away from coming through there. I'm going to hope that that's going to work. Because I sure don't want to try to take it back out again. So, we're about six inches shorter now. But, that is a real tight fit. Well, I'm pretty pleased with this now. And then we'll test it on uh, the next time I get the sawmill running, which will be soon. Now I do have a bit of an issue with the mill right now. I only have one blade in it and that's the, uh, that's all I've got left. So I've got to make a run up to the place where I get my blades sharpened. They called me and told me that I've got uh, all my blades ready to go. So we'll go up and get those and then we'll be uh, free to get back into production to finish off my 10 footers and uh, the other eight footers that are still over at Arts. But for now, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. So I hope you folks have been finding it interesting or at the very least a little entertaining. And if you have, please don't forget to give it a like and share it around. And I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. We are growing and your subscription would really help us do that. I'd appreciate that. So remember to be good to each other, be safe out there, and we will see you out on the trails the next time. Not bad.